Welcome back to MFO, everybody. I'm Mark Fisher. Hey, we are here for our second installment. We're here with Dan Coleman, and we're still talking about Great Lakes Finesse. We're back at Anglers International Resources. Last week, we talked about some little micro jigs that, that Great Lakes Finesse has. Today, we got something completely different and really unique. So yep. stick around, guys. We're gonna be talking about Cindy Anyone you know, Cindy? Stick around. We're gonna we're gonna find out what Cindy's got to offer us. We'll be back right after this. Welcome back to MFO, everybody. I'm Mark Fisher. Dan Coleman. So Dan, tell us about Cindy here. We're, we're talking about Great Lakes Finesse. We know that this is a company from Ontario. Yeah. We know that they're all about Great Lakes smallmouth fishing. So what's this Cindy rig that you're you're kind of introducing us to? So, I've never heard about it. Yeah, it's a very new term in the industry. Um, Great Lakes Finesse has created what they call a Cindy rig. I'm gonna show it to you real quick. At first glance, it might look a little confusing um, they've got their drop minnow there paired with their uh, sneaky underspin head is what they call it. So basically this is falling in line with uh, clear water, small mouth, pressured fish. Um, think about it as a mix between your spy bait, your hair jig, and your swim bait um, just without that paddle tail. So a little more finesse. Uh, tactic going on there a little small quiver as opposed to a big tail kick on your regular underspins um, but they've been hammering big fish on these wow I, i'm telling you I, there are going to be so many applications for this this is guys i don't know pull that up to the camera again dan i don't know if people can tell this is not this is tiny if you look at my hand there guys this is not your traditional underspin. No. And what's the weight on there? Uh, they range in weight. Um, they go anywhere from their eighth ounce all the way up to three eighths. Uh, I believe they also have a half ounce, but they have you fully covered on weight. So it might be deceiving, but that is not a typical underspin. It's no. very, very small. Yeah, very small profile. And I'm, I'm looking at that thinking, holy cow. Yeah, I could see maybe in spawning situation but i can also see using this on lakes like up in new york like the st lawrence yep. or cayuga or something like this and just i mean because we've seen guy we've seen tournaments where they're scoping and yep. things like that and and this is going to be a presentation where you can scope mm -hmm. but use this kind of a bait and yep. just and this is brand new, right? Yep, up shallow with this. Um, basically from what I've been seeing is you're gonna fish it almost like a hair, hair jig. You're gonna fish it on that tight line, um, up shallow, slow rolling it, a few pops here and there to kind of get that quiver going for an extra bite. Um, but yeah, you're fishing it very stealthy, uh, spy bait similar as well, just a slow roll in the middle of the water column. When we were talking before this, you used it, it's pretty much just a fleeing minnow type of a... Yeah, fleeing minnow. I mean, obviously it's just like your regular underspin, but you're just eliminating that tail kick. So a lot more clear water application where they don't need to feel that thump as much as see the profile. Um, so yeah, it's gonna it's gonna hammer them. So this is the Cindy rig. Cindy rig is what Cindy they're Cindy rig, and again, uh, the the soft plastic is called? The soft plastic on here is their drop minnow. And then you pair that with their sneaky underspin head and that gives you a Cindy rig. There you go. Guys, you heard it here first on Mark Fisher Outdoors. The coolest part about this, Dan, is all of these baits that you're showing us are right here at Anglers International Resources. We have them in stock, ready to go. And if you're local, you can come into the shop. If you're not, all you got to do is go to fishinggurus.com, hit that MFO10 uh, discount code, and you can get a 10% discount, whether you're in person or you're buying online. Dan, I appreciate your help, man. Thank, Thank you, for, you for telling us about these baits. Guys, if you like this information, hit the subscribe button, send us your comments, hit the like button. We'll be back tomorrow with another episode of Mark Fisher Outdoors. Take care, everybody.